welcome all to another Zoomcast. That's a combination podcast and Zoom call presented by the HCIC. Today, we're focusing on the upcoming Kauai form to, um, I guess, taste an Amis Bush, something up front to whet everybody's appetite about attending the conference. With us across the board are Scott Sternberg, uh, Martin King, Paul Shimamoto, Andy Soling. And thank you, Carrie uh, Nettle, for, for coordinating all of this. As always, we're going to start with our owners. Two are on the panel presently. Dave Meyer may join at the, at the tail end. But uh, the idea here is to talk about what you like coming in the conference schedule. Tell us about your recent experience in the insurance market. Has it been as tough as some people say, or maybe it's it's just right? And then any topic that you want to make us aware of from the world of risk insurance or your own personal corporate view. So uh, starting with the owners, I'm going to turn to Andy Stoling first of WebCore. And before I do, I want to thank him and Matt Reese again. They hosted the HCIC uh, Bay Area Conference. And when I say hosted, everything. We were at their corporate headquarters. It looked stellar and they served a great lunch. And, and thank you, Andy, for doing that. Please introduce yourself and take it away from your view of the perspective, uh, view of the conference. You're very, very welcome. In fact, our uh, our offices haven't looked the same since HCIC left. So uh, it was it was quite the party. Uh, well attended, I should say, by some uh, some very uh, some very important folks and risk managers from Fortune 500 companies, uh, and uh, it's a testament to what. Uh, HEIC can do when they're in the state of California and pulling in some of the biggest and brightest minds. That was a really successful endeavor. I'm Andy Stolting. I'm the risk manager at WebCore uh, and fortunate enough to run uh, our captive Paramount Insurance Inc. and best rated uh, and A rating. Uh, I'm pleased to say for the third year in a row, third or fourth year in a row now, uh, our captive is relatively small in comparison and uh, to, to others. Uh, it's under $100 million uh, in uh, total surplus. And uh, I would say that after 20 years, that's still a remarkable amount of surplus considering the amount of dividends that the, the company has taken out. So the captive uh, for WebCore uh, is a critical component of our profitability. Uh, without that captive, uh, we, we, in fact, in some years uh, may not even have had any profit. So uh, it's really a critical part of our business. It's not a sideshow. We take it very seriously. And the HEIC conference for us is probably the highlight of the year. Unfortunately, you do have to travel to Hawaii to attend the conference. So hopefully you'll be able to get on a flight, preferably Alaska flight, and get yourself to the HEIC conference. Why? Why would you want to go? I, I would say from a content standpoint, the first year that I went, it was in Honolulu. I hadn't been to Honolulu in quite some time. What a fantastic city. But in terms of the content itself, uh, I really didn't know anything about captives at the time. And most of it was account speak, accounting speak that was completely over my head. Well, eight years later, I can tell you that still most of what's said is over my head, unfortunately, but I'm slowly catching up. In fact, I actually spoke on a panel with one of our uh, hosts today, Ed Hake. Uh, two years ago uh, when uh, I believe we were in Colina. But Thank you. Uh, this year is going to be an, a, a great conference, and we absolutely encourage you to come, bring your family, bring your friends, and seriously, bring all of your board members. Uh, they should not miss this opportunity to hold their board meeting and stay for the conference and learn something and press the, fr the flesh with all of the vendors that are out there. Uh, you have some great vendors that are on this call here that service accounts and have a lot of experience. These are people that you want to meet, uh, and you can only do that in person if you attend the conference. So with that, I'll I'll turn the mic. Thanks, Andy. Uh, we're going to call uh, for uh, Martin King next, representing uh, Kaiser. Uh, the Lokahi captive has uh, been in the domicile for approximately 20 years, and, and the, the team that preceded him, we all knew well, Janice Murphy. Rest her soul, Dave Bell now retired. Martin, the stage is yours. 
Well, ha happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me to the party. Um, I, I understand if no one's heard of Kaiser Permanente, uh, if you're not in our footprint, you know, like who are they and why would they have a captive? But if you are in your in our footprint, then then of course you know us because we're really big in Hawaii, California, Pacific Northwest. So um, being as big as we are, we are a over $110 billion company, both in revenue and our balance sheet. So we've got a lot to protect and a lot of risk being a healthcare company. So uh, it made sense uh, for us to take all our individual risks, all our individual markets, which have a you know pretty low risk tolerance and pull it all together into a captive, which would have a very large risk tolerance. So our captive Lokahi in Hawaii is, uh, is a $3 billion captive. It's one of the biggest on the planet and uh, rightfully so, because we put a lot in there. Um, so you asked me, you know, why I come to the conference and what I'm interested in. In terms of the sessions, you know, there's a little bit something for everybody. Uh, the ones I'm particularly looking forward to, there's one on parametric risks and parametric risk financing. It's a big deal with us. We, we've got a couple cat bonds and I'm always interested in what other people are doing. Um, and then another one is big risks and um, extended coverage in your captive. And, and that really kind of defines Kaiser Permanente and the way we use our captive. Big risk and, uh, and extended coverage. We've got like over $50 million of risk uh, for uh, earthquake, over $50 million in cyber risk in our captive. And uh, so the, you know, any, any insights I can glean from, from these uh, panels, I'm really happy to get that. Um, you asked me about hard markets, soft markets. It's been a little crazy the last couple of years. It's been pretty much an ideal time to have a captive. Uh, I know that you might have some new entrants um, watching this and I welcome to anybody new and considering it. I, I can't imagine not having our captive uh, over the last three, four years. I, I, we, we've had to flex, you know, cyber. Like, wow, what happened, what happened there, right? And uh, we went from a $3 million retention to an $85 million retention. Not something that's easy to do without a captive, right? So, um, and then the market gets softer and we bring it down to 50 million. So without a captive, you, you know, it's just hard to look your CFO straight in the face and explain what's happening, right? So it's a lot easier. Been um, challenging also with property, our property market. Like I said, we over 50 million of limits in our captive. Um, but it softened up a little, right, this last year, and we were able to buy back some of that risk and um, and free up some capital and uh, and let us breathe a little better. You know, we, we always keep in touch, you know, close contact with our CFO so she knows um, the risk that's in there. And at any time, we can ask for a capital infusion and get it, you know, like literally, dear CFO, we need $300 million, but and we need to beef up. And um, it's just not a conversation you like to have. You <laughs> so, <some comments>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, but, but, but we, you know, we, you can tell we use our captive a lot and creatively. So, um, you know, you, you ask, why do we go to the conference in person? Well, you know, clearly we appreciate the access to the Hawaii regulators uh, so that we can establish, you know, a stronger relationship with them. But um, maybe the best takeaway for me and my team is uh, is networking. So that networking time where we're, we're sitting at a luncheon or a bar or wherever and talking about the clever and innovative things that they're doing, uh, I need to know it. We're big, uh, you know, when you're over $100 billion, you, you can't be sitting on your hands saying, no, we got a, we got a really good risk management program here. So the people that come to this conference are sophisticated. And if they're doing something clever and innovative, I need to know about it and I need to consider it. Things like, you know, cat bonds and parametric uh, risk financing. These are things that we need to know about and be on the cutting edge. So appreciate all you guys do for setting up a great conference. We love coming. 
Um, Hawaii's a great place to go, and my wife always comes with me. My boss is like, hey, you know, okay, he'll bring his his significant other as well. It's it's fine. Um, they get to sunbathe while we uh, network and and see sessions and and really get a lot out of it all around. Um, thank you, Martin. Uh, and I, I failed to mention, I know you uh, consistently sponsor the conference, which is rare. Um, yep. Mostly it's service providers, but you have uh, very consistently supported, just like uh, Web4 did. And yep. that cues up um, the chair of our board, the, the, the third most uh, critical voice. The most critical voices we hear from are the ownership. We wouldn't be here if ownership wasn't here, but Dave uh, chairs the HCIC board and is with Alaska, who's very supportive of the industry. Welcome, Dave. Uh, we're in process and you are up. Great. Thanks, Ed. So I'm David Beyer. I'm the risk manager for the Alaska Air Group companies, and I also lead uh, the board and, and am the head of our captive ASA Assurance based in Hawaii. Um, I'm looking forward to this conference as I look forward to every conference. Uh, there's always a great selection of panels uh, that talk about innovation, talk about um, what's new, uh, and um, and also run the gamut to allow those that, that are just starting out to, to get key information to help them as they establish their captive or establish themselves in the industry. Um, I am... Uh, bittersweet with this conference because this will be my last conference um, as a board member of the HCIC. Um, so my goal of the conference is to encourage other owners to join the board. Uh, we have a great representative uh, class of service providers on our board that, that do a lot of the work, but I think it's most important to have um, owners uh, fill roles on the board and um, help guide um, our regulators and our um, friends in the legislature on making sure that we have um, the appropriate structure for the industry today and the industry to come. Um, I'm also excited that um, we are in Kauai, which is a fabulous destination for Alaska Airlines flights um, that <laughs> are serviced out of seven different um, gateways along the West Coast and connections throughout the U.S. So if you haven't booked your ticket, there's a great way to do it, alaskaairlines.com. Um, beyond that, um, I'll keep mine super short and just welcome you and and hope you, um, if you're on the fence of, of deciding to come, it's a great time. Um, it's, there's a lot of learning opportunities and um, welcome. Thanks, David. Uh, now I'm going to turn to Scott Sternberg, uh, the, the 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 owners are the wheel and the and the captive managers are the hub uh to this uh, business so uh scott's our only captive manager on today um there's plenty of opportunities uh for for others to participate in these zoom cast please ping me if you'd like to but the stage uh the mic is yours mr sternberg that's a frightening statement no it's it's yeah, a, thank it's an honor Hard to get him to stop talking. I did, we did it. No, <laughs> thanks, Ed. Appreciate it. And I echo um, kind of the same sentiments here from from Andy, Martin, and David. That when we survey our uh, prior participants to this conference, clearly way out ahead. The number one value is the networking. So you get to know older captive owners, meaning captives that, that have been around for a long time and are mature, that have an AM best rating, that write different and big risks like Martin and David's captive do, and like Andy's captive, that is a huge advantage. So newer captive owners being able to interact with older captive owners, this conference in particular has the, one of the highest, if not the highest participation from a owner perspective. So the vast majority are act participants are actual captive owners, not service providers. Thankfully, I'll be there. It's only 80 miles. I'm based in, um, I'm the, I lead the Marsh office for Hawaii. So I only have to travel a little 80 mile flight, maybe on an Alaska Airlines flight or now maybe Alaska slash Hawaiian uh, <laughs> uh, to, uh, uh, to Northwest of here. Uh, the interesting fact, the last conference that we had here, I organized. So I'm the one that was uh, the chair of the, the committee that organized it. I landed that day, got into the ocean. And when I was swimming at Shipwreck Beach there, which is right where the hotel is sitting, I saw what I thought was a dorsal fin. Turned out it was a manta ray, a beautiful manta ray that was swimming through the surf 
And so it was wonderful to be able to kind of go on to the beach and see these big manta rays gliding through the, the surf break as the sun set. It was actually quite stunning. So I look forward to seeing everyone there. And uh, with that, I'll hand it back to Ed. Your, your risk managers will caution you that is a dangerous beach. So uh, um, okay. Scott is clearly a waterman to be able to handle that. It's very reefy and the waves are strong. That's um, why they call it Shipwreck Beach. Yeah. Paul Shimamoto is the president of the HCIC. Many know him as uh, their legal counsel. And um, the mic is yours, Paul. Thanks, Ed, and thanks everybody for for joining uh, today and 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 promoting our upcoming conference. Uh, as Ed mentioned, I'm the current president of uh, Hawaii Captive Insurance Council and a partner with the law firm of Goodson Anderson Quinn and Stifel. Uh, we're thrilled to be hosting our educational forum uh, October 14 to 17. Uh, this year, uh, as you've heard, we return to the fabulous Grand Hyatt Resort in Poipu on the, on the Garden Isle of Kauai. Kauai is a familiar but uh, special island for us. It is actually the oldest island in the Hawaiian chain, if you didn't know. And while it boasts uh, world-class resorts like the one we'll, we'll be at, it also possesses a unique small island vibe with relaxed towns and welcoming residents, which, which everyone appreciates, including myself, even as a, as a resident of the state. Um, many of you know Kauai's natural beauty has been showcased in, in Hollywood films, such as Jurassic Park, Pirates of the Caribbean, and many more. Um, and this year, our conference sessions feature many opportunities to, to dive deep into the world of captive insurance. Uh, our presenters, include deeply experienced owners and industry uh, professionals who are sure to provide uh, engaging content all week long. Um, Scott mentioned this, that we have a uniquely high percentage of ownership participation and attendance at our conferences. Uh, obviously, um, the three owners uh, here have been there, will be there, uh, but there'll be many others. Um, existing owners as well as prospective. And so it's really just a, a unique environment where, where everyone will be able to network, share ideas and experiences with one another. Um, you can still register for the conference at hawaiicaptives.com. It's, it's very easy to do. Um, and uh, we certainly look forward, I look, certainly look forward to, to seeing you and, and all of these fine folks at our conference in, in just a short time. So thank you. Um, I talk a lot, clearly. I don't think I introduced myself as, um, for those of you who know me, I'm Ed Haig. Um, for those of you who don't, I'm still Ed Haig. I have recently started with Mercer. Many of uh, you might recognize me from a prior firm, but I'm very excited to be at uh, Mercer, one of the largest global players 16 trillion under uh, administration, uh, a half a trillion dollars uh, under management. Uh, so clearly the major leagues, uh, I'm gonna talk about um, smaller leagues. I, I serve on two nonprofits, a couple of nonprofits that um, one buys insurance from a nonprofit insurance provider and the other is a Santa Cruz based nonprofit insurance provider. And the reason I mentioned those because markets have been hard and, and the state's looking at, um, uh, you know, Scott's shaking his head because maybe they're softening in certain spaces, but try getting insurance if you're a child welfare organization. It's, it can be tough. And, and that's one of the firms that um, I, I get to represent in my uh, moonlighting hours, as, as Paul would say. And um you know, these alternative risk finance, uh, the, that's an RRG that's domiciled outside of Hawaii because they 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 domiciled even before Hawaii was active. But um, these are great opportunities and the reach of these organizations throughout our communities is amazing. And uh, it's an honor to be part of Mercer, part of the HCIC. Uh, there will be more content like this. Paul has got a conference coming in Tokyo. Uh, perhaps we'll do a, a, a live um uh, Zoom cast um, from Tokyo. We'll certainly have one at the top of the year in January. So if you're interested in participating, please reach out. And we look forward to seeing you at the conference. Uh, thank you for listening. 
and uh, see you on Kauai. Did I miss anything? Uh, we're good. Carrie, I think we got a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>